Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can use a new feature in SIF UI for iOS 14, which is called an outline group. Now the main purpose of outline group is to form a nested hierarchy. So if you are displaying any nested tree kind of a data so that you're developing a tree or a document explorer, like maybe you are traversing files or exploring files or browsing files, uh, that can be very, very useful. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a particular item that we will be displaying in our content view or in the outline group. So I'm going to go ahead and create an item which will be called a list item. Now you can see that I'm conforming to identifiable and I'm also creating a property called ID which is initialized to UUID. I have a name property and I have another sub property which is called items. And this is an array of list items. So that is one of the things, one of the important things for an outline, outline group to work is that if you have a collection, which most probably you should because you're creating a nested or a tree-like architecture, then the property, whatever the collection is, has to be the same type. So you can see that this type over here, list item, is obviously the same as the list item. So it's a list item which contain item, which is also list items. And the reason is that because outline group is going to recursively traverse that tree and going to create that look and feel. Now currently we don't really have any list items. So let's go ahead and create a small function that will allow us to create list items. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a list item extension and this is called all and this will allow us to add animals. You can see the list item simply has an animal image and some fruits, and then lots of different cards. In the end, I return an array of list items. So the first category I'm returning is animals, which is this one. The second and the items is set to animals. Second and element is named fruits. So the category in this case is fruits, and it has all the fruits as the nested items. The third category is vehicles, and in vehicles we have all the different cards. So basically it's an array of list items, and each list item has a name property and an items property, and the item property is an array of, well, list items. So how do we display this? So let's go ahead and do this. We will go into our content view right here. And I'm going to simply put it inside a list or a list view. Inside the list view, I'm going to go ahead and run a for each loop, which will run on all the list items. So I can simply say list item dot all, and I will get an array of list items. This will serve as a category form for myself. So I'm just going to say this is a category. And the categories in this case are animals, fruits, and vehicles. Now I can go ahead and create a section header. And for the header, I can go ahead and use an empty view because I don't really want the header to be displayed. Well, at least not at this point. Next, I can use the new view, which is called the outline group. And in the outline group, I have to pass a couple of different properties. The first property is actually the parent, which in this case is the category itself. The second property is children. And for children, I have to pass in the key path value of the nested keys. And if you look over here, the nested keys is actually items. So I'm going to simply pass in items over here. And now I can get an item in, and now I can do whatever I want. So I can simply say item, which is a list item by the way, dot name. And it's going to recursively go through every single item 
and then every single child of the item and then display it. So let me go ahead and resume this. And now you can see animals, fruits and vehicles. Let's go ahead and run this. And when I click on any of these, you can see that it feels like an accordion kind of a control, right? And the great news, the great thing about this is that it knows where to stop. So it's not putting a detailed disclosure or some sort of a control over here indicating that this is also nested hierarchy because it's not. And now you can actually view all of your different things, meaning animals and you can go inside animals, you can go inside fruits, you can go inside vehicles and so much more by using an outline group. When using an outline group, the most important thing to remember is that you are dealing with the same exact category or same exact class or structure. So it will be a list item which can contain item, but those items will also be list items. And that is how the recursion happens and it knows that eventually the items will always be list items and it will not be a different type. And that is how it's able to recursively create this kind of a free uh, uh, architecture. So this is a brand new view which is available in Swift UI for iOS 14 and it's called the Outline Group. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a brand new course which is Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is the most comprehensive course available on Udemy. You can actually see that this is around 17.5 hours, the longest course and the most comprehensive complete course on Swift UI anywhere. You can see that we start with creating and combining views building list and navigation. Then we even dive into the MVVM design pattern, learning how to use MVVM design pattern to create our next Swift UI applications. I'm also covering the core data integration and also Swift recipes, which includes building a rating view, downloading images. And now I'm also covering all the Swift 2.0 changes. You can see there are a lot of changes coming up. We are already over an hour of changes and I keep on adding new things. The best way to get this course is check out the description of YouTube and in the YouTube description you will not only find a link to the Swift UI course but you will also find many different links for all of my courses and I would really appreciate if you want to show the support then check out my other courses. I just released another course on Vapor 4 which allows you to write Swift application or APIs using uh, Swift on the server and on the cloud, which is an amazing course. So definitely check that out. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your continuous support.